What's up everybody? Welcome back to ABC Acres. This is Justin and uh, today we are going to try to get some chores done and get the barn cleaned out. We're officially one week till uh, baby goats are due so we got some things we need to get done. We're going to bring you guys along. Uh, last night we had some uh, pretty brutal intense winds and rain come through but everybody seemed to make it okay just a few things blowing around the yard so we're going to get some hay for the goats and get some stuff loaded up and get started let's go indy diesel blaze everybody survived the storm last night i'll take that as a yes carry on we got the hay net reloaded and set for the boys so we're going to throw this hay for the for the does in the back of the truck and load up a few other things we need and we're going to drive down and get started We are going to try to get the truck over to the barn here. Hopefully it's not too muddy. Um, we're going to get cleaned out. I got a couple bags of shavings. We're going to lay back in and uh, we may have to give the girls some hay before we get the truck in. They may aggravate us too much. Let's go see what we can do here. As you can see, we made the long drive from over there at our house to all the way around to the next driveway here. They don't seem to be in a big hurry to come over, but I'll probably just go ahead and put their hay out, move that feeder out of the way so we just don't have to worry about it. It didn't take long for them to start heading this way looking for fresh hay here. We're coming, we're coming. Good morning, Maple. You just want the hay, you don't even want to say hi to me. Poppy, how are those babies? Good, good, good. Too small for babies. Cinnamon, you still got a while. <laughs> All right, let's get this hay in here.
if you look around the field, you see circles of hay patches all around the pasture. I try to move their feeder every time we feed them, spread that manure out and just keep everything from getting so nasty in one place all winter. Let's see if we can get this truck back down the hill over to this barn. It's a little muddy over in front of the barn, but I think we'll be okay. wrong everybody not sure about what's in your field you're not used to this are you everybody's gonna check it out that's all right we're gonna try to get you guys cleaned up in here so this is built up all winter we need to get all this mess in here cleared out so we're gonna get all this and then we've got to get these kidding stalls back and ready. I've kind of piled all the shavings up in the middle to scoop out, but we got a little bit of a few flakes of hay, some temporary posts and string and just some stuff to clean up and get out of here. And then today I hope we're going to build a gate right across through here so that we can divide these into two stalls. Let's carry on get these two bags of shavings unloaded and get this truck bed full of goat poop. Come to help clean this mess up that you made huh if you were the two kids in the house you would have to clean your own mess up why aren't you helping we're making progress but it's worse than i thought it was So, a nice little update for you. I got in a bit of a pickle. I was coming out to unload 
uh, the first load of, of stuff out of the barn and I got stuck. Let me show you here. It's pretty easy to see where I got stuck. I knew it was soft when I went in here, but it was a little softer than I anticipated coming back out. Or I knew it was that soft. I just thought four wheel drive would get me out. Thankfully, before I had to call for help, uh, somebody happened to be driving by and we used their truck to get me pulled out. So, very thankful for that man. I feel like this would be a good opportunity to uh, throw this out there if anybody would like to donate to the ABC Acres Skid Steer Fund. That would be great, greatly appreciated. Just uh, shoot me an email or you can uh, message me on social media or just drop this skid steer in my driveway over there. That would help a lot. Thanks. But for real, in all seriousness, uh, I gotta figure out what we're gonna do. We don't really have any equipment. Just my, my truck right now and a lawnmower. Neither of those are gonna help much. So I think what we're gonna do is probably just pile the rest of it up outside the barn so we can get the barn in, uh, in shape for the kids coming next weekend. And then whenever we get better weather or we get uh, some kind of a trailer or four wheel or something, we can get in there and we'll just scoop the pile out and haul it out then. No big deal. Look. I'm sorry I made a mess in your field. You forgive me? I didn't mean to. I'm gonna go try to fix it, make it better, okay? Now I feel like you guys are all coming to help or get in the way, mostly get in the way. All right, we officially have all the poop shavings and straw cleaned out of the barn and the kidding stalls. Now, it's a little bit muddy right here in this front part. It doesn't normally do that, but we have had a lot of rain. Who in the world knew that these little tiny goats could produce so much poop? Right there's what I piled up after my truck got stuck. But before this pile, I unloaded a full truck bed load of just poop and sawdust. These little tiny goats. Man, these guys can sure put it out. It's creeping up on lunchtime, so we're gonna run up to the house, get the kids, get a game plan for lunch, 
and then we need to run by the store and get a few things to build our gate for our kidding stalls so we'll come back and do that after lunch we'll see well we've got the hot mess express loaded up in the back seat and we're gonna go grab some lunch and see what else we can get into what are we going for lunch uh juicy makes sounds good to me good for you baker that's what I think, so I, I, I totally think so. All right, Jersey Mike's it is. I don't know that we will video anything on our trip. We're going to try to make this quick and get back so we can get this stuff knocked out. We'll see you guys when we get back. Well, we're back home. Got our bellies full of some good Jersey Mike's. Picked up a couple boards so we can get this divider gate built for the kidding stalls. Kidding so, stalls? yep, we have to Sweet. build a divider between the two kidding stalls to separate. To All right. Meow. We're trying to do this whole... Uh, video on ourselves thing in selfie mode not sure how it's going to work so if this whole video is backwards i promise we'll never do it like this again but <laughs> we're going to try it and see you have to make sure you look at you can't look at yourself you have to look over here at the camera can you do that without looking at yourself on the picture yeah I can't, everybody can't see me now huh no i can't it was in my way you're okay all right, let's get out of here. Okay, so we've got the frame built here for our our center gate in the kidding stalls. I'm going to use a wire panel to put in the middle of it. My hardware does not really match because I did not have all that I thought I had. So we kind of just made do with what we had. I think it'll work. I'm gonna cut this wire panel, lay it in, and hopefully be ready to hang this thing here in just a little bit. I think it's gonna work. We got our gate ready to uh, test fit and hang up. So let's get it down to the barn and make sure everything fits up. Let's go. So I got the gate hung up. I didn't video that part. Uh, I was just trying to get this knocked out, but Really can't complain a bit with how it turned out. It's got pretty snug fit over here and pretty good fit over there. May have to stick something just to make sure those little tiny babies don't try to sneak through there. So I got it here and it'll swing all the way back out of the way for if I just want one big open pin or I can close it 
if I gave one over there separated and then one in this pen here separated. I just have to figure out how exactly I want to lock this in place. I may just use some kind of one of the barrel lock or something and just run it through a hole into that four by four post. But that part would be pretty easy. I'm just happy with how the gate fit, that wire panel. I think everything's going to be good. We're ready for some babies. We got these shavings spread out in the loafing area here. We're not gonna put any down yet in the kidding stalls. I'm gonna use the bigger flakes here for the babies. I just worry about this finer stuff. We get this for free. So it works pretty good for, for free. I don't complain. And, We've used it before and they do good with it, but it is pretty fine. And I just don't want the newborn babies in that. We'll have to make a another stall in this corner temporary for one of the three that's due. So we'll get that done this week and uh, we'll be pretty much ready to go with this. I think it's about time to wrap this video up. Today's just been one of those days. We uh, had to go through a lot of hurdles. Um, we had the truck stuck this morning. We'd really like to thank the guy again for, for helping me with that. Um, I, would, I would really like to have some video of that, but I was trying to hurry for him. I didn't want to take up any more of his time than I had to since he was nice enough to stop and help me. So I, I didn't, uh, but I really do appreciate that. We did get everything done that we needed to accomplish today. So that was a major plus. And we are done just in time to go inside and watch a Tennessee basketball game. So I'm gonna get inside and I'm sure Baker's ready to watch. So we'll settle down for a little bit and watch the game before we come back out and check on the girls again but uh, appreciate you guys tagging along today a little bit of a wild day today uh, but we really appreciate it don't forget to like and subscribe ring the notification bell and that way you don't miss any videos coming up especially hopefully we'll get some footage uh, of some births or baby goats so that'd be good and uh leave us a comment that's all i got for today really appreciate you guys hope you're having a great day god bless